Hi everybody and welcome to my channel. If you are new, my name is Maddie Johnston. If you are not new, hi, welcome back. Today's video is going to be a Q&A. I asked you guys to ask me questions on TikTok and you guys delivered. So here we go. Let's just get into the video. So the first question is from hi, it's Quinn024 said, when did you decide to have Oakley? And Oakley was not planned at all. It's a, such a long story. Didn't know that some antibiotics can make your birth control stop working. So that is essentially how I got pregnant. Besides, you know, doing what you do to get pregnant. So Oakley was definitely, she was not planned, but she was an absolute miracle. I was told that I would not be able to have kids because I have um, severe endometriosis. So she was just a miracle and a blessing. And I am so happy and so grateful that we have her. Charlie fan page 04 asks, how did you think of the name Oakley? I follow Kyler and Madison on YouTube and their daughter is named Oakley and as soon as I heard it the first time, um, before I even knew that I was pregnant, I've been following them for so long. Their daughter's name is Oakley and I fell in love with the name and so I put it down on the list and when I was pregnant, the only name I liked was Oakley. So that is how I came up with the name Oakley. MultiXRE8 asked, how is it being a young mom? And it is very difficult. It's tough when everybody, like your friends, is in a different place in life. So that has been really really hard on me and it's definitely like been difficult money wise just because I cannot work as much as I would like to just because finding child care is very difficult but overall it is really fun and I enjoy every second of it and I wouldn't change it for the world. Caitlin24 asked are you planning on having more kids and yes we are just not right now I would love another one right now but after thinking about it and talking about it with my fiance we just we cannot afford another one right now. Um, I would love to be moved out of my parents' house. If you guys didn't know, me and my fiance in Oakley live with my parents. We were living two hours away from our hometown when I got pregnant. And so when I got pregnant, we decided to move back to our hometown. And my parents were like, why don't you come live with us while you guys are trying to save up for a house? Well, the housing market is absolutely trash right now and we are having the worst luck. Everything here is just so expensive. We have contemplated moving back to the town where we were living last year but I don't know there's just so many pros and cons right now and but we would love to be moved out of my parents house for a little bit and get our feet under us before we start having another one. Charlie fan page 04 asked what state do you live in and I am from Washington. User 8 I'm not gonna repeat those numbers there's so many numbers asked first period story or how old when were you when you got it? I was 10 years old when I got my first period. I was in fifth grade and I was at school. I went to the nurse's office and I'm like, I just started my period. Please let me call my parents so I can go home. And so I called my parents, my parents came and picked me up. Then they took me to Red Robin to celebrate me becoming a woman. The same person asked, how many kids do you want? And I want probably one more, so a total of two. The same person also asked, what is your dream house or car? And my dream house is to live on the lake. And my dream car, I already have my dream car. It's a Toyota RAV4. It's 2020. My fiance got it um, as a push present and my mom car um, when I was pregnant with Oakley. Oh, that's Miley asked if you could move anywhere, where would it be? And I would love to live in like either Idaho, Texas, or Arizona. Dana Riviera 28 asked, what were your first thoughts on Oakley when she was born? And my first thoughts were, it was, oh my God, it's her. She has so much hair. She is so beautiful. Those were my first thoughts. XX Simply Brianna XX asked, if Oakley was a boy, what would you have named him? And we would have named him Ashton. Someone also asked, can you tell us about our relationship? And I will make a complete separate video because that is just a long story in itself but yeah I posted a little bit of it on my TikTok telling you guys about our relationship but I will make a completely separate video. It's your girl three asked how long have you been on TikTok and I have been on TikTok since I think May of 2020. 
I believe. I'm not exactly sure. Also, somebody asked how old I was and I get this question all the time. I am 22 years old. A lot of people think that I'm like 13 or 14 or like in my teen years, but I am not. I am 22. Sailor X Baby said, do you think having more kids will make your body worse? Like all your depression and stuff, by the way, I love you so much. I love you too. I honestly don't know. I've heard so many stories where um, women have got postpartum depression with their first one and then didn't get it with their second one. So I'm hoping that's how it goes for me, but every person is completely different. So I have no idea. The good thing about that though, is that now that I know I am prone to getting postpartum depression, um, we will catch it early and I will be put on medicine right after I have, I almost said right after we have Oakley, right after we have our next baby. But I don't know, I guess we will see. Someone also asked, do you have a job? And I do, I work front desk at a salon and spa and I also make money from TikTok, from Instagram, from brand sponsorships, from using sounds on TikTok and I own a boutique. Why did I say that so weird? And I own a boutique. Why do I keep saying boutique weird? Is it boutique? Boutique? Lovely Lily also asked, what was the hardest part of your life? Sorry if this is too personal. Um, the hardest part of my life was definitely my postpartum depression. It didn't really come out until after somebody very, very close to me passed away. Um, that caused me to spiral. Um, a little bit and that's when I decided I needed to get help from the doctor. Um, that was a very very dark time in my life and I do not wish that on anybody. I do not wish that on my worst enemy. I was ready to give up. It was it was just a really dark and scary scary time in my life but I am so happy that I am feeling so much better that my medicine is working that I'm starting to feel like my normal self again. That is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and asking me questions on TikTok. I am going to post like a little life update um, for you guys just because I haven't been on YouTube in forever and I don't know if everybody that is following me on YouTube is following me on TikTok so some of you guys don't know what is going on in my life but yeah that is it for today's video and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!